Oh shoot, we're recording. I ain't trying to get demonetized. What's up guys? Thank you for stopping by. This is Take Rest Your Bacon. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I know Christmas is gone and a Happy New Year's. We didn't end 2019 very, very well. However, I want to show you guys one of the newest products I've recently purchased. I was in desperate need of both a good lighting solution and a good Bluetooth speaker. And luckily, IKEA had just the perfect solution for me. So if you're interested in the Symphonics collab with Sonos speaker from IKEA, stay tuned to the video. Roll the intro. Welcome back guys. So I recently purchased the Symphonics. It's a funny word to say, but this is a collaboration between Ikea and Sonos. It's a very, very good speaker. Let me go ahead and get out. There's a very, very good speaker for the money. There is another speaker that Ikea collab with Sonos on. To me, that one isn't as good as the one that you will see in this video. The one we are going over is a very, very, very awesome speaker from the build quality to the sound, to the convenience of the Sonos infrastructure. This speaker will meet almost all your needs that you need when it comes to both music and lighting. So let's quickly get into the video. First, looks. How does it look? To me, IKEA always masters that great homey look, minimalist look that can fit in with almost any design that you have in your room, your office, and at your desk. For me, you can see in the videos, I have it set up at my desk. I've recently replaced one of my lamps that I recently used for studying, and I love this lamp so, so, so much because it gives me a nice, cool tone. Only downside right now, the bulb I have in it is that it only gives me one temperature of color. The lamp I recently had before, you see right here, I could change the temperature depending on if I'm studying on the daytime or the nighttime. And I wanted to change the mood of the room. I quickly was able to do that with my lamp. But that can easily be solved by purchasing a smart bulb, which I will do for this lamp. So next time you see this product in one of my videos, you will see it with a smart bulb instead. And that allow you to change the temperature, whether it be the Philips Hue, Light Effects. But you know me, guys, I keep it cheap. I'll find the cheapest option to get it done with. And when I find it, I'll let you guys know. But the looks to me are very, very beautiful. It's a nice minimal design, has a single knob on the left side of the lamp, and it also has three tactile buttons, physical buttons on the lamp, which is very, very cool. So if you like that nice, simple, minimalist look, this lamp is for you. If you want something that's beautiful, sleek, and simple. Next, the most important aspect of this device is its sound. We all know the reputation that Sonos has for great quality sound, where you compare it to other guys like Bose and Sony. Sonos has some amazing sound, just as comparable to any one of these. And the best thing I like about this speaker is, it, is that it isn't Bluetooth, it is a Wi-Fi speaker. That, be, that means that I don't have to be strictly stuck to my room to activate this thing to be anywhere around my house, and I can activate this speaker. Very, very cool, it allows you to link multiple speakers together. If you want to compare it to something like the HomePod, which you can do stereo, you can put the whole lot of these guys together. I eventually want to have me a whole Sony setup, and this is the first of many that you guys will see on the channel. But the sound is very, 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 very punchy. I will let you guys hear a, a little bit of the sound, but of course, because of YouTube's compression, you would not get the full beauty or aesthetics of the sound being put about this thing. But I can say it is a full sound, very, very similar to the Sonos Play One speaker. It's almost the same type of build, build speaker. I think this costs around 150 to 179. I'll put a little insert right here how much it cost me during the holiday times. Well, well worth the money, guys. Well, well worth the money for its simplicity of use and its convenience. It's amazing. Let's keep going in the video. The next thing I want to talk about is the Sonos app. Guys, one big upside of this lamp is that it's connected with the Sonos app, which is a heads up or a bit pro comparing this to the HomePod. You know the HomePod really only supports natively Apple Music and everything else you gotta do through AirPlay. This supports AirPlay too, but the Sonos app, as you guys can see, has all these different streaming services, whether it's Pandora, Apple Music, it's native apps, all these guys are directly in the Sonos app. You don't ever have to leave the Sonos app if you want to get your music going. Cause you guys can see I have right now, I only have my Apple Music loaded into it because I recently just got this for Christmas and I love it. I absolutely love it. 
oh, 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 hold on. Sorry, the baby is tripping. But this is an awesome lamp. I'm telling you guys, I haven't even turned it a past a 35% yet, and it gives me more than enough sound that I need when I'm studying or I'm just chilling in my room, want to listen to some tunes. Guys, this lamp is amazing. But with all that good stuff being said, there are some downsides to getting this lamp. Let's get into that. One of the biggest downsides, it doesn't have a microphone. Some might see it as a pro, but some might see it as a con, meaning that it doesn't have any type of virtual assistant. No Siri, no Alexa. Alexa, stop, cancel. Sorry. No Google Hub, it doesn't have that. So if you want to have some, any type of voice assistant, I recommend going through your phone. The second thing is, without any other accessory, this isn't a smart piece of tech, meaning it doesn't have the ability to integrate with Alexa. No, stop, cancel, Siri, or other virtual assistants. A simple solution for that is to get you a nice Wi-Fi smart plug. You can plug any device into it and make it a smart device. I made a video in one of my first YouTube videos I did. If you haven't seen that video, the link is right here to that video or I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. Easy turn is an easy way to turn any device into a smart device. Definitely pick one of these up and you consider getting this speaker. And to me guys, that's like the only downside of the speaker I, I pretty much see. No microphone, you can't take calls with it. If you want to take calls, you will, it will be sent to your phone or whatever else other device you're using and you don't have any type of virtual assistant. But for me, I use the Echo Show, so that's perfectly fine with me. I don't have to worry about using my lamp for a virtual assistant. I use my lamp for a lamp, you know what I'm saying? But guys, that is my quick take on this lamp. I hope that you will consider picking this thing up or checking it out. If you enjoyed the video, my name is Tech Rest Your Bacon, where I make tech and tech related videos, lifestyle videos. If you enjoyed what you saw, do me a favor to subscribe button and join the family, guys. I appreciate you all. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Tech Rest Your Bacon, we out.